you know, I just want to share with you guys. It's this is not for like us in the diaspora, right? But really, why I want to show you guys this is Switzerland. This is for my brother and sister and back home in Sierra Leone. But really, what I want to do is my vision. Sometimes we can talk and talk and talk, but if we're not trying to break things down to people, they will not understand. But this is what I envision a Sierra Leone that you know Sierra Leone should be. I mean, now this we we are Sidoma and then a social media. These are the things that I think about. Which is why I want to create this picture, especially for our brothers and sisters back home. Switzerland, of course, is in Europe. Switzerland is a population of about 8 million. So it's almost about the same size of Sierra Leone. So what I want to really do for my brothers and sisters back home is for them to see what some of us, they envisage, waiting now with vision, waiting with a C, waiting with a think about, waiting we hope Sierra Leone for B. That is the fundamental thing, and that is why I want to show this video. So we, we're all going to watch this video together because I want to show Switzerland with all the challenges that they have infrastructurally. The country is full of mountains and all of that stuff. But still, these people are able to make a living and life for themselves, for their citizens, for thrive. So I'm going to go through this in just little segments here and there. I just want to share this with my, my brothers and sisters out there. I want you guys to see this beauty and let we all share this together. So let's let's watch this together, guys. Let's watch this together. Expect from this big episode, share my general impressions of the country in a... It's Switzerland. You don't even need any words here. Landscapes, shots and everything gets clear. Alright, Switzerland, world famous for its Alps, the best watches and most trusted banks. The air here is pristine, the tap water is basically heavy. Uh, guys, you know, when you look at stuff like this, it's funny no better pass we black people. You know, I, I listened to um, uh, this lady called Dr. Arikana. She's always touting this African thing. Oh, uh, who's Joe Biden to tell us, come and, you know, African leaders uh, to go and meet him in America, blah, 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 blah. We have not built ourselves to that ha much. We haven't, we're not, we, we're not doing anything else for instill that much confidence. You know, and, and, and let me even have a stick at the table for Joe Biden for coming, can't work and come meet each African president. No, but they've not built themselves to that point. Look at what is happening across our African countries there. But listen to this. This is Switzerland. For my brothers and sisters back home in Sierra Leone, not for all Sweden and the diaspora, right? This is not strange. But I want them to be able to see. And I don't even take America. The reason why I'm taking Switzerland is Switzerland has a population of 8 million. Let's watch this together, guys. I want them to see stuff like this. And the views are to die for. It has four official languages, 450 varieties of cheese, a flag that's square and not rectangular, and one of the most stable economies in the world. I think Switzerland is an almost perfect country. Just almost because ideal country don't exist. But Switzerland is as close as it gets. Whether it's true or not, let's find out today. This is remarkable, guys. I want you guys to see this. My brother and sister in our talk, matter of fact, I do create a, although I have viewers in Nigeria, Liberia, Ghana, all, all those places. But this is what I'm talking about. Look, look this kind of, about, look this development. Eight million people like this country in Switzerland and Europe. They don't get diamond, they don't get gold, they don't get bauxite, they don't get rutile, they don't get iron ore. Waiting and getting at them people. They respect themselves. Decency. No corruption. Stop the thievery, right? Give back to the people what they desire. Nine and get to. They don't get nothing past me. Eight million people in Switzerland. This Nadentia make Adina social media. Nadentia they make a camp Sidonia for talk to her. Because I want you guys to see stuff like this. Let's watch this together. Speaking of emotions, the first thing you feel right after setting foot in Switzerland is unbearable tranquility. I mean, we all know what tranquility is, man, right? Tranquility is just the peace, the quiet. We can have encounter, yeah, clean, decent. That now wants the salon, and it go happen. But it's gonna take us as a people coming together. Let we left the idiocy, you know that. Uh, again, let's imbibe section thirteen B of the Constitution. Every citizen shall cultivate a sense of nationalism and patriotism. We as the citizens, them, we for left for support politicians from foolishness. That the only way we can reach to this level. Let's watch together, guys. Look at this beauty. 
Throughout all nine days of my trip across Switzerland, I felt like I was at one of the calmest places on Earth. And those aren't the Faroe Islands with a population of 50,000. Switzerland has a population of 8.5 million people. And the population of 8.5 million people? Sierra Leone is almost 8 million. Till this day, over 90% of the population are living in abject poverty. With all our mineral resources, all our marine resources. You know, I, I, mean, I mean, I just don't get it, guys. Now, for my brother and sister in Eastern Salona, one of our cities, Switzerland, 8 million people. This guy do a documentary where they travel across the country. I want to see what they talk for. You know, because in Turkey, they say, until, for a lot of our brothers, they've never experienced what good life sounds like, what good life feels like. So they don't know what they talk. They feel say no more. We're in competition. We're not in competition. I'm not in competition with none of you guys. Just because I felt myself in a position today where I didn't live a better life than Una, not mean say a better person. No, I believe say Una for live this kind of a life. Una, listen to this. Now listen. They live a normal life. Still, this place is extremely calm. Just listen to this, guys. Of 8.5 million people, and they live a normal life. Still, this place is extremely calm. Extremely calm. Look. By the lakeside. At first, I thought it was because I mainly visited villages where life tends to flow slowly. But when I visited some big cities, it turned out to be the same. So, what do we talk about? All the time, we talk about villages and big cities there. A bit in a small village. It is a life they go easy, everybody, easy, everybody calm. But salon people live all day Africa, people in the torment, they think of waiting for eat, how for go hospital, waiting for drink, how to go drink clean water. All day with people they tussle, they pain. Now listen. This is pure magic. Switzerland makes you instantly feel around 20 years older. So even if you're 25, you wouldn't want to rush somewhere or do extreme sports. You just want to sit on a bench, which are practically everywhere, and spend the whole day like this. Now I understand why so many celebrities and ordinary people come to Switzerland for retirement. This country is just made for relaxation and peace of your mind. You just want to sit down, gaze at this beautiful valley, and take in the view. This is the let how they talk. Look at the beauty of the, 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 the place. Look, at, look how challenging the environment is. But still. And, and, and thank you to Awa. That's very perfect what she's saying here. That's on point. Let me, let me see what, what which Awa is the, 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 the right there. Why is saying hello, a future preso? <laughs> Ask not what your country has done for you. Ask what you have done for your country. You brother does so many things. Thank you, Awa. But guys, I'm, I'm just showing you these. I want to see them. This for my brother and sister in a free talk. I want to share this to them. They were small. With brother, yeah. they, 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 on social media, they, they, they fed for politicians and this and that. Let them see what's in the miss. The kind of life we want for them. Where we want for them for live. Look at this beauty. Sierra Leone is one of the most beautiful countries in terms of topography. Beautiful weather. Nobody no get nothing for tell Salon people. When it comes to nice weather, we get some we for cultivate, we land, we look green like this. Beautiful maintainer. Look at Lola. Oh, watch together. This is remarkable, guys. There is a simple reason why all the things are like that. Switzerland has second highest wages in the world. The average salary is $62,283. The average salary in Switzerland is $62,000. Average salary. I want you guys to think about those numbers. Like when my brother Cashbox can he talk. The average Sierra Leonean will not get and nothing to do with government. Has never get, you know, gotten, you know, uh, just grew up in a village somewhere. From the day they were born till the day they died, they will not make more than $20,000. And that's even an overstatement. That's even an overstatement. The average salary in a Switzerland as of 2017, where this guy do this video, it was 62,000. 
$62,000 dollars at the average salary. They would say, you say, no, compare you to what thing would they go? Why would not for compare them? Eight million people. Why would not for compare them? They don't get gold, they don't get diamond, they don't get bauxite, they don't get rutile, they don't get iron ore, they don't get nothing. But they get that in self. They protect themselves. They allow the people to participate in democracy. Think about that. Tif Tif no day, nobody no gentsky pass nobody. Politicians, they work out free how they want because everybody is equal. Not, you know, not, not watch. Don't rip out your calculator. That's more than $5,100 per month. Two. So the average Switzerland person, they make $5,000 a month. Average. Then they even pass America as if we so we wouldn't have. Some, uh, there are lots of folks in America who know they make $2,000 a month. Yeah. Average that Switzerland, they make five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars that's a little like a today. It's over a hundred million years. That is the life of one for people that I can today. Hello, go. Hello. The Swiss economy is doing great, although just money wouldn't be enough to feel comfortable here, as security plays a big role as well. Switzerland managed to excel here too. It's one of the most neutral countries in the world by successfully distancing itself from any geopolitical alliances. Let's I want to see anything there, my brother and sister, and back home. Not to say what the kind of social media for talk to una, for educate, una, sensitize, una. you know, uh, it's, it's, no, we just, we, it's love for country. This is what we want to see. Like, delicate today, people like us, why for, a lot of our brothers not even want for left Sierra Leone to come outside, to be honest with you. All we have to do is give them these. How we go do them? Now, when the opposition are serious, the government of the day, they are serious. They have the interests of the people. The people themselves get their own interest. The people decide for stand up and, you know, say enough is enough. Stop supporting these politicians by corruption. Because go give you small thing, you get buried and go give you small thing and give you one bad grace where you person die. That's all. Amy picking all well, you and give you 10,000 years, go buy Panadol. That's all. It's a, no, no, it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way, guys. I, I strongly believe in that. It shouldn't be that way. All of the above and the Swiss sites that we will discover soon made this place a pensioner's dream. It has the second longest life expectancy in the world after Japan, and many people wish to spend their final years in Switzerland. Celebrities moved here for it. You see, I'm talking about life expectancy. But yet you have these ruling governments, as stupid as they are, all they're doing every day is to create bad laws to disenfranchise the people from voting, to disenfranchise the people from registering, these governments cannot provide electricity for for uh, you know for the people, cannot provide uh, you know healthcare for the people. These governments in Africa, Sierra Leone, cannot provide these basics that the people of that country need to survive. Switzerland gets one of the highest life expectancy after Japan. As for the local pensioners, they are happy and carefree people, and I just love. What Listen to the pensioners, them the one who don't, we don't retire. Happy and, and carefree because you know why? The state is taking care of them. As a pensioner, I don't get for worry, I get eat. I get for eat. I get for get food as a pensioner. But the way you go to Sierra Leone, the Nazi money, they, 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 the African Express puts a publication where the government take over 60 million with the, 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 the Nazi money. How pensioners, them people in the suffer. Sierra Leone, as you retire, so you're finished. If you don't get picking up the ticket, if you don't get family members that you can count on. All of these things is waiting within a social media for. These are the changes for the sick. This is what we want to see. Pensioners, they want to look there. Then they live a carefree and happy life. Listen Local pensioners, they are happy and carefree people. And I just love watching them. Switzerland is perfect for them. I guess now you only think about one thing. Dude, how do I become a Swiss citizen? The good news is that it is real, unlike the UAE, for example. The bad news is that, well, it's very difficult. Mm. This. Watch this. This guy is explaining how long it takes for like getting a Switzerland, you know, a, a, a citizenship. Последние три года выезжать. Если ты захотел найти квартиру в соседней деревне, не считается. Все заново. Потом ты идешь, даешь экзамен, который включает в себя географию, политическое устройство, кучу кучу всего, вплоть до того, как твои соседи к тебе относятся. Они будут спрашивать у швейцарских фрау Бахман образной, да, как он себя проявил и что вы с ним там заметили за ним какие-то грешки или нет. You see how they value the country for like getting citizenship. 
This is even tougher than America. America, three to five years, you get citizenship. Then where? It is take up to 12 years. And then the interview tell you, nobody already check for make sure citizenship. This is where Sierra Leone could be that country. But with this Sierra Leone today, we don't get power past the citizens of Sierra Leone. Foreigners. They get power past, we don't see this in them. You don't see the Lebanese, Pakistani, Indian, and they slap with brother and sister, they rape with sister, they for that matter too. No protections for them. Whose responsibility is that? It is the government, the leaders, and the people as well. Now I make a show on that kind of video. I want to brother the way that Sierra Leone see them things there because this is not about me, right? If, if it's about me, I can chill right now. I can just sit up. I don't even give a crap, cahoots. But no, my conscience will not let me. I'm going to share these things with you. We're going to wake up every Sierra Leonean until we get to the look for our country. Salon will be a better country. Listen. Скажут, да, вдруг ты ее не придержал дверь три года назад, и она это вспомнит, и твой швейцарский паспорт накроется медным тазом. Ну, я утрирую, но так оно и бывает иногда. There is a story that Alan Delon, who now lives in Switzerland, was very upset with the local government because he had to wait for his passport for 12 years like any other ordinary person. So even being a star won't help you. 12 years, now the guy waits for. 12 years. You may have noticed that I haven't really shown you around the country yet. Let's change that. Although there is a slight problem. Looking at these sites, I guys, look at the roads, right? Look at the mountains. Look at the challenges we didn't get. But amidst all of that, they they not say it's impossible for law make road now. Who signed for make bridge and they build the bridge? Look at these guys. Look at how powerful this is, man. This is beautiful to see. Beautiful to see. Let's watch, guys, let's watch. I ran out of vocabulary, ending up with something generic. Amazing, fantastic beauty, this is unreal, I'm in awe, the classic. This is just nuts. And finally, how can you leave this place? Firstly, it's the colors. This is the actual color of this grass. Looking at the Swiss meadows is like having the famous Windows XP wallpaper right in front of your eyes. It can be very hard to believe that these colors are real. It makes you question whether they paint the grass on purpose. Yeah. But no, I have done no color grading whatsoever and I didn't play around with the situation. The same can be said about the colors of the water, which resemble a color palette from blue to teal, or even this color. Wow. This is them protecting the natural habitat. That is not the CISO. Look at the greenery. Look at that greenery day alone where they allow where dust not a grab. People are waiting to kill people in that country. Dirty dust, dirty roads all over the place. Filthy all over. We can change that, Sierra Leoneans. That's why I do the stuff that I do. Let's watch this. Look at beauty. Look at this. These lakes are you like incredibly clear. Yep. This is Switzerland for you. Our next stop is the Swiss villages. So let's dive in. So it's about is this guy's about to travel now to the Swiss villages them the villages them local see wait till they go show we village I want to understand what they talk for say you go to a village or you go to a big city or everything you forget and the electricity water all of that stuff when I watch this it's not villages now okay, good. I don't really remember any names of the villages I visited but still. They all look like they're straight out of Swiss chocolate ads. This Every the single village makes you stop, stroll around, stare at the toy-like houses and just take in the atmosphere. I'm now in the village of Zizikon, which I discovered yesterday while looking for a place to stay. It is a village. There is a railway, a couple of hotels and an astonishing lake on the shores of this village. In the morning, I woke up and couldn't believe the beauty of this place. Wow. This goes to show that every little village has a tiny hotel and sites worth coming here for. Yeah. It's everywhere and it's just amazing. Calling Zizikon a town was a bit a stretch. It's a commune with around 300 people. There are even smaller villages here, like Korippo in the south. Its population is just 12 people, 11 of whom are over this village gets population of <laughs> 12 people this population is just 12 people 11 of whom are over 65 years old 12 people later this village but look there look there 
In order to revive this village, the Swiss plan to copy the Italian concept of Alberto Diffuso, turning all empty houses into the scattered hotel with top-notch service and the main Look reception. Look at the topography. Such a concept. Look at the landscape. They still make do with them. Look at this. They get electricity there. Water did they? Everything is there. Internet is there. All t- in a village, oh, small village, we get 12 people. Concept has proven itself in Italy, and maybe it will work for Caripo as well, since both the village and surrounding landscapes are just incredible. Switzerland is great. Great, but expensive. Let's talk about the money you need to spend to stay in these villages. Uh-huh. These are the rooms I stayed in. This one was 60 bucks and had a shared bathroom. $60 a night. What you do? A clean, a decent, yes? Sierra Leone, you travel across the country. I must village you to go to go meet hotel day. You know... <sighs> this room was around $100, unlike this room, which cost around 125 bucks. My best room was in the municipality of Gottlieben, which set me back by 80 bucks, and just look at it. This place is almost 400 years old, and I was strolling through it like it was a museum. I booked it a couple of hours before checking in, which probably explains the low price. Up until now, we mainly covered touristic places, and I was keen to find an authentic, secluded village. Hello, Stas. So now he wants to find a one fine, fine village with secluded. Stas and I are heading That's east to the Appenzell Alps. Wow. You happen to come across many milk farms along the way. Look at this. And these cows are just the best. It's a proper cow establishment. They even receive massages. See? You can buy pasteurized milk via vending machines, but I was keen to try fresh milk. So we kept driving to the village of Basarawen. The village is so village or a so village. And then two davor gets a loch. Genial. Look at the beauty. All side organized. All side organized. All side structure. Everywhere is structure. Look at all side clean. Who side in the tar and tar parking space? Now village the guy they so. Okay, you know, let me left so take it over talk politics, politics too much. Let me show people reality of life. Sierra Leoneans, my brothers and sisters. This is the fourth industrial revolution. I want you to know a here I will talk. So I go practicalize and think about it. This is pointless. Look at beauty. It took us an hour to get to the Zealbze Lake and the tiny village of Vasarawen, which only has a dozen houses. Look at this beauty. On the other side of the lake, it's a breathtaking meadow, which looks just like what you imagine when you think of a Swiss village in the Alps. Of course, you can also find milk here, and unlike other farms, they actually pour fresh milk for you. The village this. Well, to Switzerland. Das ist fantastisch. The milk is great, all thanks to these cows, surrounded by low, in all its glory. Now, this think of. Now, this would envisage. I want to work in a salon. Now, this kind of way, I just want to go to a village. I go sit down. We should say, why? Well, what the top of go work at a salon, guys? It's not even just going there to pay a visit. To go settle. All we want is this. Provide the basics for the people. Road, electricity, clean drinking water, internet facility. Just give the people that life. Now, this make within a social media. I want you guys to see this. Now, village this. Switzerland, 8 million people. Salon, about almost 8 million people. We can do the same. We gently pass there. We better pass there. Not better pass. We we get all kind of mineral resources. But who side the money they go? Thievery and corruption. We hate ourselves. We don't like ourselves. When you come there, you speak, you get idiots who can tell you to defend the government. Instead of looking at this, sorry for themselves, sorry for the people. They don't get sorry at the Sierra Leone and then why are them bad ones there amongst me. They don't get sorry at for the people. Now look at this. Now village life this. I don't know. See then we reached a cheese factory that Stas told me it's about. And although I would love to tell you a beautiful story that it's a six-generation family business clean? and the cheese is made following. When I see we clean, a cheese factory, 
inside the village that suddenly sustain themselves. These people are self-sustainable. They get electricity, they get water, they get uh, internet, they have their machines. All of these things, the government, they help the people. Not so one man, they thief $18 million, $200 million from timber, then they thief all the money. What did they get budget for? No, no. When I watch her, when I watch Some old receipts, but no. Meet the head of the family, who is quite young, speaks excellent English, and makes cheese using today's technology, and sells it right on the spot. We sweat like crazy because it's boiling hot inside, but you get the idea, right? It's a place where you have milk, and Unreal Valley is over there, absolutely no cars, no one even smokes here, crystal clear water, cows gnawing on fresh grass. This place is just perfect for cheese making, which is what they do. And they sell it on the spot. Just 2,000 kilo a year, to be precise, which doesn't seem that much. The factory is actually pretty small. Well, enough of the talking, let's try it. Alright, enough Look with the villages, this. let's talk about something that the Swiss are incredible and probably one of the best at. Switzerland's massive advantage is that despite its mountainous landscapes, it's managed to develop an immense infrastructure that any country would be proud of. Absolutely. Immense infrastructure with its landscape. If na salon be dinner, I wonder the kind of far home for different city today. This kind of a hill and this and that. I swear to God. Look what a maker. I miss all of that challenge we didn't get. They say we are going to surmount these challenges. What I watch for myself, Bo? Two thirds of its territory is covered in mountains, as you can imagine. Two thirds of the country of Switzerland is covered in mountains. Two thirds is covered in mountains. The same amount of parliamentarians they will need for vote against the PR system on the own table so our parliament for say the one proportional representation. Two thirds majority we will need. Now listen to this. Imagine it's not the easiest country to move around. To be honest, it wasn't really made to move around. It boasts the highest mountain ranges, rivers and rocks. Mm -hmm. Such road infrastructure required a lot of effort Absolutely. and the Swiss have succeeded. The roads are perfect, the railroads are highly developed and all of this is nothing short of amazing. Yeah. Let's dive into it in detail. Look how beautiful. They, they don't show me the railroads, now look at them down. Where they supply electricity. Don't listen to this guy for say about this. Listen. More than a half of Switzerland electricity is produced by hydropower plants. The one behind me is quite small, but there are slightly bigger ones. Tiny Switzerland has over two dozen dams that are over 100 meters high. It also houses the fifth largest dam in the world. It is 285 meters high. Wow. Not this one, but you are looking at the tallest rock climbing wall in the world. If you happen to have special equipment, you can get right to the top, which is 165 meters high. The Swiss have excelled here as well. Wow. This suspension bridge is not the longest, spanning over 200 meters only. It's still quite a challenge to cross it. Switzerland is the land of tunnels. They are just everywhere. See? You drive out of one and then enter another one, then another one, one more, more, and so on. You see, I missed all the challenge when it gets. You see, then they make them tunnel them, roll them because they're constantly mountainous. So some side and they go dig on the mountains them. What did they make them do Anna? Because of they only thief the money, they lack themselves. We don't get empathy and sympathy for we say for Sierra Leoneans. I make I do this for we brother and sister in a salon and I share this with them. Let them watch them tear. This country, Switzerland, are 8 million people, did they? We gently pass them. We better pass them and they talk them back. But the only thing we don't get, we don't get them lack themselves. Then they talk about tribes and this and that. They believe say, everybody in a Swiss, therefore able for enjoy just as much as the prime minister. The same life, same living, everything. Well, now listen to this. It honestly feels like the Swiss build these tunnels out of habit. You get tunnels even in places where you can easily do without one. But since they are good at it, let's make another one, why not? The country is full of long tunnels. The Goddard Road Tunnel is the longest in Switzerland, nearly 17 kilometers long. That's crazy. At the time of construction, in the 80s, it was the longest tunnel in the world. Now it's the ninth longest, but still 17 damn kilometers through rocks. Let's drive through this tunnel together just so that you can get an idea of how long it is. Although I'll speed up a little. This is the entrance and let's go. Wow. 
Well, it may take us some time to watch this at the current speed, so let's speed up it a little more. Mm -hmm. All over the country, tunnel upon tunnel upon tunnel. Sierra Leone, and this the guy they talk and say that they even make a by wheel from now for build tunnel because side and they way you know they don't need tunnel but they still a construct tunnel. You know how much money they take for construct one grand tunnel? And they built the longest rail tunnel in the world, the Gotthard based tunnel, which spans over an incredible 57 kilometers. It guys, goes straight through the Alps. The longest tunnel in the world. Ten tunnel, ten, ten tunnel in the world. Switzerland, eight million people. Salon, almost eight million people. What did they get for tell we? Say they not established before we know. We all same time, bo. If not be 60 years here for this guy for catch up. So go ahead and stay in 60 years for our chief. Because what's in Dubai? We see Dubai in over in about 40 to 50 years. We see the transformation of Dubai. The United Arab Emirates. Take Qatar, Roka, host the World Cup, so they like it today. In in 50 years, then do all of them today. We serve Kindua. Look at Switzerland. Look at this. It took 70 years to build, costing 12 billion dollars. 12 billion dollars. Usai de pula. Usai de pula 12 billion dollars. They don't get we gently pass there. They don't get nothing we don't get. Everything, gold, diamond, bauxite, rutel, I don't know. Ebo, we're able for building kind of infrastructure in our country, make we country habitable for the people. Let me watch. The Gotter Tunnel is not only the longest, but also the deepest since, well, it was built under the Alps. At peak points, it is 2.5 kilometers deep and without proper ventilation, temperature inside would reach 45 degrees Celsius. Thanks to this tunnel, travel time from Zurich to Milan got cut by an hour. And now, time for my favorite topic. One of the reasons why you should pick up a car in Switzerland over anything else is the roads. You know how much I like mountain passes. Switzerland has many of them, and also the highest one I've ever been to. It's called Furka Pass. Well, let's see what these roads got in store. Because the roads are very challenging, L lot of mountainous roads there. But because of mountain, not means they're not tired for go and go make roads and they're accessible to people, them, right? Eight million people. Then do I want to watch this? I think it's one of the most popular European roads, as people come here from all over Europe, so the road can sometimes be congested. Still, these incredible views make up for everything in full. I am a slow at a sloth here. I'm stopping at every turn thinking that this is the last time, then I go a little further and the views gets even better. And I'm like, damn. Yeah. It took me an hour and a half to reach the road's peak at 2,431 meters. Petrol heads would definitely love it here because apart from usual supercars, it's like an expo of rare cars. This 1981 Alfa Romeo is in mean because condition. The Furka Pass can be crossed by car and by an old school train. Built in 1914, the train is fully original, including the driver. And of course, it runs on coal. This is why we compare then kind of then country they are to we. Look at this train. This train from 1914. They maintained it. Can take today. Where we where we train station them? Where we train station them? Going back all the way through. Where we train station them? Una una watch together. Una listen. Apparently, the Swiss also build the best traditional funiculars in the world. So if you ever go skiing, it will most probably be the Doppelmayr funicular taking you up. Recently, this company has built a pretty unusual funicular, so I wanted to check it out. But in order to get it, you first need to jump on this old guy. Local drivers here look so vibrant that they could 
easily earn good money by performing as Santa Clauses. Yeah. It takes around yeah. 15 minutes to go up in this wooden car and here it is. The first ever Cabrio Funicular. Yep, there is no roof, allowing Chinese tourists to take pictures you without any nice. glass in the way. And there is definitely enough to take photos of. This is beautiful, man. This is fantastic. And this is why we do what we do. This is why we get on our social media to talk about these things, guys. Then guy no get nuts you will get we better pass there, we gents keep past them. I say it again. You know, this is why I share this with my brothers and sisters, especially in Sierra Leone. We don't ever get an opportunity to travel. I want you guys to see these things. Now, the life this whole long for long self leave, guys. Look at this beauty, man. Look at all the fun things to do. I must say, you're going to salon forget fun things to do. And I'm talking about every citizen having the rights to, to, to just enjoy these things. People not are waiting on vacation. People not are waiting on holiday in a saloon. I'm not talking about the 5% where they enjoy. I'm talking about the average Sierra Leonean. Now listen to this. They're fine. Um. Let's see. You see, they're not fine. Um, laws and structures, because you know, pa put enough change that the meter outside for put for park. They don't find them for that. Systems. All that find the money they come out the, the back. Listen to this. 40 francs without the money, which probably I'm sure the money very strong. So it's like let's say the equivalent of 40 euros, maybe, or 35 or maybe 50 euros, who knows, right? When I will convert them for when I say, when I see, I must have 40 francs in Switzerland, the money, to the euro or to the dollar. I, I believe so the money very strong. You don't get a ticket for Andy. Income, they can. Systems, systems is what we lack. Now, when they find you, you're going to any post office, you go pay. Because if you don't pay, there are consequences where you don't pay, they attack you, they defend you. This guy, if you don't pay this, so they're not saying they're ready for left the country. Now you're put in the car, then they are in the Ola. So you get fine now, you for pay. Because then Moscow will go rent, so, or we go for go return the rental vehicle. Then they look and open the system, then see say gets a fine when you don't pay. And they pay that fine before they give them in documents or whatever the case may be. Systems, now they get. Systems. See? It don't pay. It don't pay. I have to tell you is about the most ecological and beautiful part of transportation. The trains. See? Trains are one of the country's symbols and their precision is comparable to Swiss watches and wow. they run very often. To give you an idea, you can go from the remotest village in the west to the farthest one in the east once every 20 minutes. Most trains are equipped... Wow! I want to listen to this idea. I want to listen to the guy they talk about how fast Very you can often. travel inside To give you an idea, you can go from the remotest village in the west to the farthest one in the east once every 20 minutes. So regardless of how far, you go from the most remote village to the one farthest away, 20 minutes. Transportation, connection. So you come off free tongue, you go beyond Masumbo. Transportation. Transportation, transportation. This is what we are talking about. But what would they talk? You get idiots say where they can't see off or can't follow that we talk and things say we don't know what to talk about. We all can do this together as a nation, regardless of political party and tribes. We have to have an agenda as a nation to say if we achieve this. When I listen to this, I want to listen. Transportation and connection are the one thing that they make any country develop. Now listen to this. An idea, you can go from the remotest village in the west to the farthest one in the east once every 20 minutes. 
Most trains are equipped with the children's carriages, so that if your kids will be screaming, which they probably will, they won't disturb other passengers. This is Switzerland after all. Of course, these trains are one of the most expensive in the world, that's no surprise. A ticket from Zurich to Bern, which is a 100 km distance, costs around 47 euros. The best part about the railroad, though, is the notched lifts that help the train to tackle steep inclines, which means that Swiss trains operate even in the mountains, offering jaw-dropping views. Yeah. Yeah. So even though there are mountains and all of that stuff, the train and the equipment enough for able to travel through the mountains on a safe and secure, it will go from one end of the country to the other end of the country inside 20 minutes. That's how fast they travel. In as much as they're expensive, but still, if you can able, can you imagine what it takes for you to travel from Freetown, you're going to the farthest village than any part of the country. These are the things we're saying, guys. And now, as I promised, this is the most beautiful Swiss bridge, the Landwasser Viaduct. And once your train rolls onto it, you feel like a part of a Harry Potter film set. Wow. Wow. When I see the bridge, one of the most beautiful bridges in Switzerland. When I see the bridge, they create and they make them. They know, they know, they know, the one way they get the contract, not if the money is going away, can't England, they can't buy us for here and pick in there. No. He used, they use the money for the country because they know they already did all they get for benefit. Look the bridge way beautiful. Look at this scene. Now look at this bridge. Look at the way they pass on top. This is the vision we be, I get, we get for salon. That's why for be. Everybody for enjoy. Everybody for enjoy. Look at this, look at this beauty. Actually, I could watch this forever. As if you're watching a toy railroad that you're just put together. Wow. Now, I was eager to get on this train instead of just looking at it. Look at the Look at the that bridge here. I was off to probably the most beautiful village in Switzerland. I left my car there and bought a ticket to Wengen. See the train system? See? Windows do open here, of course, as most people get on this train just to enjoy the view. Wow. I think we can leave my comments out and just take in the views. See the train go down a tunnel. It connects the one country. The right to get normal for views. So take it with a lot of people left there. Yeah. Can you imagine if we get all this? How much people go come that I continue? Around. You know how much people go retire? You know how much people go pack their bags? Hi. And go I'm back to Sierra Leone? Founder you know how much people go go back to Sierra Leone? From the diaspora, go leave. Now village back self. They don't want capital city self. Manaka, we don't want capital city self. I don't want capital city. No. I want a very quiet life. I don't listen to this. Look how beautiful, man. The guy that travel just for the sights to see the country. Train rides. Look at how beautiful it is. Eight million people. Salon, eight million people. They will not get gold, they don't get bauxite, they don't get root tile, they don't get iron oil, they have nothing. We just keep us there. After saw my ticket, he told me that I can go here. Showed me a table with fines and that it was 90 Swiss franc. I said that I'll pay for it, to which he replied that he won't let me and help me to get on the train back. That's the Swiss ticket officers for you. Although I was happy to pay the fine, he just didn't let me. Yesterday we follow the road to the moon. It's getting empty virtually. Which but it is running course. It don't matter how much pussy guys are eating. You know, wait for nobody. Then get Remember the time me, where they run. It's getting their own. So regardless of who that, they never wait for nobody. 
The train getting scheduled, I like now two posts in the inside that train day. It they go end to end. It happen at this part of the world we're fed with. It's like an amusement park where you watch a movie in 4K, 8K or even a higher resolution that hasn't been invented yet. Well, it's time to show you the most fabulous village in the whole of Switzerland. Wow. Meet Lauterbrunnen. Wow. The village is so. My brother and sister in a village they showed us, so village. I want to see it. What you see now is the Middle Earth from Lord of the Rings. John Tolkien, the book author, came up with the land of elves after visiting this village, leaving an unforgettable impression on him. And really, it's hard to believe that this place exists in real life. It's pure magic that came from a fantasy book. And again, since we're talking about celebrities, let me show you a bunch of places related to famous people who used to live here. First, let's take a look at the Saint German mansion located in the French part of the country. It is home to a museum dedicated to Hans Rudi Giger, who came up with and painted the alien. Guys, this is a village. We don't make up until I would come for can talk to her. It's just love and passion for country. That is why we can't we talk we can't show not anything there, guys. I want to understand it here for myself, let not understand where we come from. For my brother in a free tongue, Sierra Leone, across the country that the village is them. I want to understand it here for myself. We only come on social media because of fanfare, craziness, or a money now I make. No, 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 no. I don't make nothing from social media. Nothing. But I want to expose you guys and use this tool. For me, it's about using this tool to broaden our rising. I'm spending my time. This gives me pleasure to doing anything else. If I don't read or study or so they talk with me, picking up. But how long? I must come here to keep with me picking up. Everybody get what they do. Go, then go down here. Then get a young TV. They have everything. We all know the life now. This part of the country. Bibi goes, all man get section for the way they all man picking me, picking it. All man, they go to you. They want to play a game, then they play a game, they get 65 inches TV, they go play them video game, then they, they want to watch TV, they want to watch online channel, they want to do that on computer, they go do them. Now that vision they will get for countries alone for people. Eh. I must come here to keep with them. Let me get a car, I sit down, I can't send me office, I say, you know what I'm saying? Sure, it's Friday, you know, wait it. But I can't sit down, but I can't, that do them here. I expose this beauty of the other side of the world, let people and see, because we're seeing that the beauty of the fourth estate, the media today, is to, you know, you know, make people see. It's kind of, you need for fly for go see. Now you don't need for flight for go see. Somebody go fly and go see and share with you. You see them for yourself. 2023 elections, they come. We want change. I know say I don't trust nobody reach myself. For say, these things that I see, I don't know if anybody will get a vision of me get for myself. But let's watch this together, guys. Let's watch yeah, I know. I want to say um, the money you gave to Kanye Yunkela would have built water wells. But I want to be honest with you, I'm looking beyond water wells now. Awa. For me, it's not even about water wells. We should be able to provide pipe more water across that country. Switzerland is 8 million people. Now we got to compare Switzerland to Sierra Leone. 8 million people. We should be able to provide pipe more water to every citizen in every house. That is my vision. Not even water well, because this water well thing don't become saturated across the country. It is destroying a topography, actually. What I will, they destroy with land. It is going to destroy house system. Also, they for the collapse because of these water wells. There was a study where I read up. There was a research that I read on where they talk about the, the, the devastating effects of water wells. Because over time, the earth, they sink. So a lot of hosts, them, their foundation get for crumble. So for people that we get us, we get water well. That's something that should pay, they should pay attention to too as well. Because over time, it's going to, you know, sink the earth. The water, because of the layers outside the water, they will suck up all that water. They, out of water, they, 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 they vacate from underneath the layer of the earth. The earth, they sink down. So water wells, then water wells, they dig, 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 dig all over the country. With time, it gets forgetting effect. On a mark what I tell us, all of you guys that are watching this, mark what I'm saying to you. There's going to come a time when we get for to get us and if team up and collapse. Because of this water well crisis that we have all over the country. Let us have pipe pond water. We for make them a must. Across the alien to have to have pipe bought water across that country. We should do it. Beautiful. You know, guys, this is the end of the video. But I really wanted to share this with you for my brothers and sisters in particular in Sierra Leone. Pretty damn beautiful here, right? It's beautiful everywhere, but I still can't get used to it. 
I just checked my odometer and realized that I had traveled 7000 kilometers since the start of my European trip. This is nuts. And I think it's time to go home. Although I don't want to. It is really a great country. If you decide to visit, prepare for its views and have to spend in to see them. But it's worth visiting Switzerland, not only for the views, but for the tranquility, high quality service and so guys, excellent roads. You must recognize that this guy actually traveled 4,350 miles across Switzerland. 4,350 miles across Switzerland for do this video, for show the world. And this is why I do these kinds of things. So in as much as sometimes we talk about politics all the way through, guys, as Sierra Leoneans, the only advice I would have for you guys is for us to come together with an agenda to say we are going to love ourselves first and put the country over everything else, over our tribe, over our political party, but we have to educate our people, bring them to that level. That is why I'm doing this. I'm sure somebody's going to be touched by this video. One young Sierra Leonean or younger, you know, brother or sister will go be touched by this video. I go be touched and say, mm, if this country of Switzerland get 8 million people, then they achieve all these kind of humongous, you know, beautiful things where they achieve. Why we in Sierra Leone, we get all kind of mineral resources. If they were to get gold down on bauxite now, can you imagine? Then people don't go walk. I swear to God. That is what we've seen at the United Arab Emirates. That is what we've seen at places like the Dubai. Their citizens don't work. What's in and get gas and, and, and oil? We get gold, bauxite, rutile, I don't know. Hey, diamond. Kono when I kono self born, we never say like kono fiba like for say kono like kono tan like. Guys, guys, this is why you know this is why I cannot wait to say you know contesting the presidency in 2028. What happens happens, guys. Let's see if Sierra Leoneans are ready. But that is my vision, and it should come to pass. Every part in Sierra Leone, when you come up from this point to that point, it should look like the same. Electricity, clean drinking water, energy, you know, access to hospitals, good roads. Guys, it should happen. We for connect Sierra Leone from one, from Freetown to any other part of that country. We should connect it fast scale. We for do and we get what it takes. That man left that bribe, bribe, chap, chap. All money gets up front. When they come there, I your no company can and give man the 100 million. They say on a ship dandy. Then, then the, 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 the company take over billions of dollars. When I don't eat 100 million to a safe drive, luxurious vehicle them. When they watch on the people in a cotton tea, you know, then they bigger, bigger, old. How do they feel? How do they feel? But leadership is from the top. It starts from the head, from the presidency. If the president is serious in any country, it, it, it changes. So now watch the end of this video and now get this guy off now. Here, tranquility is everywhere. Honestly, I find it harder and harder to be amazed by something, but Switzerland did it. Even a week after the shoot, I still take pictures, stop in awe of the meadows, which I have seen dozens of times, and they still amaze me. This is great. This country is definitely in my top 10. If you have never been here, do come and visit. It's absolutely worth it. And Travel more, guys, and you won't be disappointed. I mean, just look at this. These meadows and train... <laughs> yeah, I was right. It's beautiful. Hello, brother, you here. Hello, oh, brother, you here, man. This is awesome. By the way, you guys, I want you to see this channel. So, so maybe if you want to, like... Um his name, um, let me pull up his name real quick here for you guys. Anton Somewhere. That's his YouTube channel, okay? Anton Somewhere. So, he's doing good. I'm sure there's a lot more videos that he has. But when I saw this Switzerland one, I said, man, I have to share this with you guys. But you know, um, guys, let's do what we have to do to save our country. Yeah? We have a moral responsibility and we can do it. Share this live, guys. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Let me go. It's 8 o'clock. Everybody have a nice evening. Bye-bye.